Hi, it's Miss Allen. Welcome to Adventures in Storytime. I'm coming to you from the Story Tower at Billings Public Library, and I am ready for story time. How about you? Should we get started? Okay. Two little hands go clap, clap, clap. Two little feet go tap, tap, tap. Two little fists go thump, thump, thump. And two little feet go jump, jump, jump. One little child turns round and round, and one little child sits quietly down. Alrighty, so do you remember what story time was about today? Valentine's Day! That's right, we are going to talk about Valentine's Day today. Valentine's Day is a holiday where we make sure to tell all the people in our lives how much they mean to us. Now, we really should be doing this every day, but Valentine's is kind of the special day. And a lot of people wear pink or red to celebrate Valentine's Day, and they give cards and candy and flowers to their loved ones. Now, that's not necessarily something you have to do, but it's something that lots of people like to do. So when we talk about Valentine's Day, I found the perfect letter to use to talk about Valentine's Day. V, because V is good for Valentine, it's good for velvet, it's good for, what other words start with V? Violin. So we're gonna see a lot of V words today, but we should get started with our books, don't you think? Alrighty, so our first story is called Valentines are for saying I love you. And this book is by Margaret Sutherland. My finger was in the way and had a hard time reading it. Remember, we have a whole Valentine's Day section in the children's department. And now that we're open, you could come get them yourselves or you can continue to ask for them via curbside. Alrighty. On Valentine's Day, there's lots of candy, lots of heart-shaped candy. I get to take three licks of my lollipop at breakfast. Daddy gives my mommy a big bunch of flowers. At school, we have a Valentine's Day party. Everything is so pink and pretty. I give my teacher a special card. The X's and O's are for kisses and hugs. I give cards to everyone in my class because they are my friends. You should make sure that you include everyone when you give out Valentine's Day cards. At home, I make a special card for mommy. It has glitter all over it, even on the back. Mom should be ecstatic about glitter. The one for daddy has a lace doily on it. It looks just like a real one. Can you see? I stick a little doggy biscuit on the card for Arrow. He, how long does it take him to eat it? Oh, about three minutes. Oh, about a minute. I had a hard time seeing that. A minute? I think that's a long time. I think it takes my dog like 12 seconds to eat a dog biscuit. And for my baby brother, I tape a big heart with an arrow on his crib. It will be the last thing he sees before he goes to sleep a nice big sister. My grandparents come to visit after dinner and I have cards for them too. Look, they came bringing candy and a little baggie. And my grandma's card smells extra sweet because I sprayed it with perfume. And because my grandpa likes jokes, I made him a funny card. You read the back first. Valentine's Day always comes on February 14th. But it's not like any other holiday like Christmas or Thanksgiving. It's a day when you go to show your friends and family how much you love them. Of course, you can do that any day, but on Valentine's Day, it's extra special. I thought of a word. Very, very special on Valentine's Day, right? Alrighty, so... There it is. Valentines are for saying I love you. Miss Molly has a great craft for you today. It is not making Valentine's Day cards. It's really cute. But I do recommend that you make Valentine's Day cards for your mom or your dad, your grandma, your aunt, any of the important people in your lives, your brothers, your sisters. 
Okay, so we're gonna sing, we actually have two songs we're gonna sing every time today because one of them is short, okay? So I know that some of you know Teddy Bear, Teddy Bear, Turn Around. This one is Valentine, Valentine. Are you ready? Okay, so it goes like this. Valentine, Valentine, run in place. Valentine, Valentine, touch your face. Valentine, Valentine, turn around. Valentine, Valentine, touch the ground. Valentine, Valentine, touch your nose. Valentine, Valentine, touch your toes. Valentine, Valentine, jump and hop. Valentine, Valentine, time to stop. Valentine, Valentine, catch your knees. Valentine, Valentine, sit down, please. Good job. That one works wonderful when we're doing Story in the Story Time de Tower, doesn't it? But we'll have to do this one at home. Okay, so the next one's really easy. You gotta start your hands like this, your fingers together like this. I put my hands to, oh, like this, there we go. I put my hands together, this is how I start. I curve my fingers round and I can make a heart. Do you see my heart? Can you do that? Let's do it again. Ready? Put your hands together like this. I put my hands together. This is how I start. I curve my fingers right around. And then I make a heart. Do you see it? There it is. Alrighty. This one, we've done lots of different versions of this one. This one's the Valentine version. Are you ready? There was an old lady who swallowed a rose. This is Louise, oh, excuse me, Lucille Colander. She has lots of different ones. This one's, I know an old lady who swallowed a rose. Roses are good for Valentine's Day. There she is, do you see her? There was an old lady who swallowed a rose. I don't know why she swallowed the rose, but that's how it goes. There she is. There was an old lady who swallowed some lace. She didn't race to swallow the lace. She swallowed the lace to tie the rose. I don't know why she swallowed the rose, but that's how it goes. There she is swallowing the lace. What is she swallowing this time? There was an old lady who swallowed some glitter. She wasn't a quitter when she swallowed that glitter. She swallowed the glitter to trim the lace. She swallowed the lace to tie the rose. I don't know why she swallowed the rose, but that's how it goes. There was an old lady who swallowed some candy. It was fine and dandy to swallow the candy. She swallowed the candy to garnish the glitter. She swallowed the glitter to trim the lace. She swallowed the lace to tie the rose. I don't know why she swallowed the rose, but that's how it goes. I thought of a word while I was reading this for, it starts with B, that a rose would go in. How about base? Look at that, we're thinking of B words as we go. There was an old lady who swallowed a jewel. Do you see it right there? She wasn't a fool to swallow that jewel. She swallowed the jewel to brighten the candy. She swallowed the candy to garnish the glitter. She swallowed the glitter to trim the lace. She swallowed the lace to tie the rose. I don't know why she swallowed the rose, but that's how it goes. What do you think she's gonna swallow next? Something you might have at Valentine's Day. Do you see them? Hearts. There was an old lady who swallowed some hearts. She showed her smarts by swallowing those hearts. She's just. She swallowed the hearts to surround the jewel. She swallowed the jewel to brighten the candy. She swallowed the candy to garnish the glitter. She swallowed the glitter to trim the lace. She swallowed the lace to tie the rose. I don't know why she swallowed the rose. But that's how it goes. 
Anybody know what she's swallowing now? What is that? Is that a card? A Valentine's Day card. That's right. She's coming out of the card shop. There was an old lady who swallowed a card. It wasn't hard to swallow the card. It brought the old lady so much happiness that she smiled and laughed and blew a big kiss. And what happened when she blew a kiss? Out came all the stuff she had swallowed. Happy Valentine's Day. I know these are fun. We have lots of different ones. There was an old lady who swallowed a, usually one for every holiday. Okay, so remember we're gonna do both of our songs. So I'm just gonna put the words up to Valentine, Valentine, but we're gonna do um, the heart one first, okay? So you ready to make a heart with me? Put your hands together. I put my hands together. This is how it starts. I curve my fingers round and then I make a heart. Okay, here come the words to Valentine, Valentine, are you ready? Valentine, Valentine, run in place. Valentine, Valentine, touch your face. Valentine, Valentine, turn around. Valentine, Valentine, touch the ground. Valentine, Valentine, touch your nose. Valentine, Valentine, touch your toes. Valentine, Valentine, jump and hop. Valentine, Valentine, time to stop. Valentine, Valentine, pat your knees. Valentine, Valentine, sit down, please. Alrighty, our last story. Robot in Love. And this is by T.L. Macbeth. And the cutie's all dressed up. It's got flowers. Does he look like it's Valentine's Day, maybe? It was a day like any other. Click, gurgle, munch, beep, beep. Then I saw her. I had never seen anyone so beautiful. She was so shiny. I wanted to say something, but I was too shy. I thought about her all day. Look, he got distracted. He almost got hit by a car. He stopped to sniff a flower. He jumped in a puddle. What happens when a robot jumps in a puddle? You got a little buzz. The next morning, I went back to see if she was still there. She was. I tried to think of something clever to say, but I was too nervous. Does not compute. Air, air. My vision programming malfunctioned. My hydraulic limbs felt weak. My circuit board nearly jumped out of my chest. I think he means his heart's pumping so fast. I have to try. I would have to try again tomorrow. Is he too shy to talk to her? The next day I went to our meeting place. I finally worked up the courage to talk to her. Greetings, I said. Our connection was electric. Oh, swoon. I set out to make her something beautiful. Look, he's got tools. Looks like he made her some metal flowers. I was so excited I couldn't go into sleep mode. But the next morning when I went to see her, she was gone. Ah, his heart's breaking. I looked everywhere not under this canine scanning negative no results found no trace i was about to give up <laughs> ding he had an idea i raced back to our meeting spot this time i went inside see there he is walking the aisles he's looking for her there she was. We were together at last. Do you know what that is? A toaster. Toastomatic. She said nothing, but she didn't have to. We ran away together. 
We have so much in common. Look, they're, he's, she's plugged in. We're both shy. We're both shiny. And we both love toast. And that's sweet. That is a very sweet little book about Valentine. So don't forget that Miss Molly will have a great craft when we're done with our flannel board. And if you haven't um, signed up for family reading, I think you have just a little time left to do so. We have some great programs that you can catch on our YouTube channel, and you'll be eligible for a couple of great gift cards. So make sure you keep an eye out for those. And let's do our heart, and then we'll do our Valentine song. Are you ready? Okay, let's do our heart first. Put your hands together. I put my hands together. This is how I start. I curve my fingers round, and then I make a heart. There it is. This one side of Miss Allen's heart's a little crooked. There, better. All right, so here's the words to Valentine. Valentine, Valentine, run in place. Valentine, Valentine, touch your face. Valentine, Valentine, turn around. Valentine, Valentine, touch the ground. Valentine, Valentine, touch your nose. Valentine, Valentine, touch your toes. Valentine, Valentine, jump and hop. Valentine, Valentine, time to stop. Valentine, Valentine, patch your knees. Valentine, Valentine, sit down, please. All right, we're back. So our flannel board today has a bunch of hearts on it. It does. And so we are going to do a fun little Valentine sing-along. First, I thought we'd talk about the different colors of hearts that we have today. What color is this one? Blue, orange, green, purple, red, pink, and yellow. Awesome. So we're going to sing Valentine, Valentine, what do you see? I see ya. And then we're going to talk about the colors of hearts that we see, okay? So this is kind of like that book if you've ever read Polar Bear, Polar Bear, or Brown Bear, Brown Bear. We're doing the same thing, only we're going to talk about hearts. Miss Allen's going to grab a heart while we're singing it, and you're going to tell me the color, because I might not know these colors. Think so? What do you think? Valentine, Valentine, what do you see? I see a, what is this? It's a green heart looking at me. What about Valentine, Valentine, what do you see? I see a red heart looking at me. Valentine, Valentine, what do you see? I see a orange heart looking at me. Valentine, Valentine, what do you see? I see a purple. Is that purple? Pink. I see a pink heart looking at me. It almost looks white until you put it right here. That's pink. Valentine, Valentine, what do you see? I see a, what color is that? Yellow heart looking at me. Valentine, Valentine, what do you see? Oh, I'm playing game. Are you ready? What color do you think it's going to be? I don't know. You're going to have to tell me. Blue, you think it's going to be blue? Well, we're just going to find out. Ready, set, purple. I see a purple heart looking at me. Valentine, Valentine, what do you see? I see a blue heart looking at me. And then I'm going to say, Valentine, Valentine, what do you see? I see you looking at me. Hi. So... 
next week we are actually going to be talking about colors isn't that fantastic we did all our colors here we're going to do more colors next week next week we're going to talk about colors we kind of do some colors and then we're going to have some numbers and some letters We've got a bunch of fun little uh, i think there's even a shape story time coming up too so stay tuned for miss molly's um craft and then i will see you next week for colors are you ready on my face i have a nose on my feet i have ten toes i have two eyes that i can blink and here's my head so i can think i have a chin and very near i have two ears so i can hear i have two arms i reach up high and with my hands i wave good bye see you next time guys have a great week Hi everyone, welcome to Adventures in Storytime. This week's theme is Valentine's Day, so we're making these cute little hedgehogs with paper hearts. Um, they're really easy. You don't need very many things to make this happen. You just need like a little hedgehog, some paper hearts, an itty bitty paper heart for an eye, and then a little puff ball for a nose. So, we will get started. The first thing I want to do is kind of, um, I'm not going to glue quite yet. I just want to put my paper hearts on my hedgehog and kind of figure out what I want it to look like. I think I'm probably going to use about 12 paper hearts. That's 10, but that's good. So that's sort of what my hedgehog will look like. So now I'm going to use a glue stick and kind of glue them on one by one. And if it doesn't look exactly like um, how I put it together, that's fine. So I'm just going to glue on the hearts one by one until I'm all finished.
I have a few glued on and I am putting the hearts kind of at like an angle and so it sort of um, looks like the quills that a porcupine has. Oh, I think I said porcupine, I meant hedgehog. Okay, so I've got all my hearts glued on now. I'm going to glue this little tiny heart on the hedgehog for an eye. Okay, so he's got his eye. Now I'm going to do like a little dot in the middle for a pupil. I might make a smile too. Maybe I should have a little smile. Okay. I don't know if you can see that, but I drew a little smile. And the last step is to glue on this little puffball for a nose. I'm all finished so you can give this to a family member or keep it for yourself or you could make it into a little card by writing happy Valentine's Day and your name on the back um, and all, as always if you want to show us pictures we'd love to see your projects um, we will see you next week bye bye